I play a lot of ambient music where I'm like one person working by myself with a series of loopers and that is like literally the uh, source of every meme that you probably get on the internet is like yeah I'm just not gonna start a rock band I've now started a solo project by myself and you're like that's me. <laughs> you're like great. I'm using a Stramberg 7 uh, string guitar it's uh, headless and has a tremolo on it. I got like my whole unique wiring scene going on here. Uh, a friend of mine did like a series parallel so that I could always just like push pull and just have access to them at all times, especially if I want more output or less output. It's, it's just a great guitar and like it's like basically like a Stratocaster except like it has this very unique ender neck which is like it's supposed to follow the trail of the thumb. Um, like as you go up the neck and so it's supposed to like reduce strain and I started using these guitars a couple years back when I got a repetitive strain injury uh, on my left wrist and so I was trying to start using an instrument that was easier on my hands and also improved my technique and so it's a, it's a great guitar and it's super comfy I think it weighs about six pounds and um, alder body and maple maple neck with like I think uh, Poe Ferro fretboard and all that stuff and it's uh, I think it's the radius is 20 inches so it's very very flat. Yeah I'm using an Axe FX3. It's literally some of the most beautiful amp effect tones that I've heard. I have been a huge individual effects pedal nerd for like the longest time. I would just always, I was very much just like I'll have a tube amp and I'll have like a series of pedals and I would just like create these epic pedal boards. As far as just like being able to have uh, greater control, uh, create patches and presets with a lot less uh, moving parts, um, and just do it quickly and seamlessly, like the Axe FX really does let me do all those things. And then I get multiple outputs that I can use uh, to send to various destinations, whether it be like to an amp in the room so that I can get like a proper amp feel in the room, to uh, an FRFR just so I can uh, hear the amp sims that I've that are on board there uh, or and also just to send to front of house when I'm like playing live. I have the D7 just to be able to turn the repeats knob up and also play with the time knob which is a lot harder to do when you're uh, dialing it in like in the axe effects and I have the like drollo effects summon which I use a lot for like reverb holds glitchy things and uh, I like using loopers um, so I'm using Blooper also, like uh, from Chase Bliss Audio, and I'm using uh, the MC8 from Morningstar to expand the control of the Blooper. My ideal rig would be at least three Loopers that have like DL4 style playback controls where I can essentially have three Loopers in series and I can independently record an idea into one and then resample it into later Loopers and then just fade it out and like cycle them around. And then also I have the plus pedal, like from Game Changer Audio. You can't really replicate this. It's just this one is like incredibly unique. I mean, you have control over the rise of like when the, like basically when the hold comes in and then when it fades out when you're recording new audio into it. I like to use it a lot in multi-mode, which lets you record one hold and then have it then sample over it and then sample over it again. And then it eventually, it cycles out, I think up to either five or six like samples. And so they kind of just cycle around. So. I can do a lot of cool things with that and build a lot of soundscapes. And the most important thing for me is having a volume pedal. Always on volume assignment constantly and that's how I create my uh, volume swells and loop pads. I just like to uh, layer in that fashion. I kind of have gotten to a point where I know the sounds I want from analog pedals and I kind of have an idea how to approximate them like on a digital rig. Like, the polymove pedal that you have, like just knowing like if I turn the delay knob, that's what's gonna happen. Like I'm gonna get this swirly sound the way it the way you adjust it and all that stuff. Or if I wanna just turn the repeats up and do that cool thing, that's a lot of fun. And uh, or just turn the mix up and down and just get like a fade in. That's like really I mean that's stuff that's like you kinda get a sense of like where those sounds exist. And so once you kinda know it, at least for me, like I can like go like, alright, how do I recreate this? like in a digital format. It's like trying to translate the knowledge uh, from one medium to the next. Having a mix of the two is actually really awesome and I'm just, I'm happy about the, my current rig and I'm in, like, I'm sure I'll be like bouncing into something else at some point again. So it's just, that's the nature of 
I guess being really into uh, pedals gear and all that stuff.